few weeks earlier, Chinese most advanced and world's largest Type 055 destroyer circled Japan with escorts in its first Far Sea exercises. During the 18-day trip around Japan's main island, Chinese Type 055 guided missile destroyer Lhasa was leading the formation of Type 052D guided missile destroyer and Type 903A supply ship. The NATO reporting Renhai-class cruiser Lhasa is the second of most advanced destroyer of People's Liberation Army Navy. The Type 055 is considered as the second most powerful destroyer after the DDG-1000 Zumwalt-class stealthy destroyer of U.S. Navy. The 112 VLS vertical launch cell systems installed onboard Type 055 destroyers make them multi-role warship having state-of-the-art air defense, anti-ship and anti-submarine capabilities. These ships have been designed to escort Chinese aircraft carriers and Type 075 amphibious assault ships. The Type 055 destroyers are the largest surface combatant currently being built in the world. The PLA Navy had plans for the large destroyer since 1960s. The development program code named 055, initiated in 1976 was cancelled in 1983 after encountering technical obstacles. In April 2014, Chinese social media revealed images of the full-scale mock-up of Type 055 superstructure at PLA Navy Electronic Testing Range of Wuhan featuring integrated mast for radar and other electronics. Construction of these large destroyers is split between two local shipyards, Zhongnan Chongxing Shipyard in Shanghai and Dalian Shipbuilding Industry Company in Dalian. The 101 Nanchang being first ship of the class was launched on June 28, 2017 at the Zhongnan Chongxing Shipyard in Shanghai with commissioning on 12 January 2020. Presently, China is operating eight Type 055 destroyers. Five amongst these ships are combat-ready. Type 055 Nanchang, Lhasa, Anshan and Wuxi have been commissioned into North Sea Fleet, whereas Type 055 Dalian has been deployed with South Sea Fleet. PLA Navy has plans to build eight more ships of the class. Type 055 destroyer has a length of 180 meters, a beam of 20 meters and a draft of 6.6 .6 meters for a full load displacement of about 13,000 tons, though officially planned designation is 10,000 tons class destroyer. In comparison, the U.S. Navy's Ticonderoga class cruiser and the Flight 3 Arleigh Burke class destroyer displace 9,800 tons. Similarly, the Type 45 Daring class destroyer of Royal Navy displaces 8,500 tons only. The U.S. Department of Defense has been calling them cruisers since 2017. The Type 055 destroyers have distinctive stealthy features around hull, moorings and anchor chains. The ship is installed with four QC-280 gas turbines of 28 megawatt each and additional six QD-50 gas turbines of 5 megawatt each. The maximum speed of the destroyer is 30 knots. Type 055 destroyers are installed with state-of-the-art weaponry including 112 cells VLS silos missile system and HQ-10 short-range surface-to-air missiles. The silos are split in two areas, 64 X cells forward and 48 X cells aft, just in front of the ship's double hangar. They are of the same model as those fitted aboard Type 052D destroyers, compatible with both hot and cold launch missiles due to concentric canister launcher concept. Reportedly, all Chinese missiles which size up to 9 meters in length and 0.85 meters in diameter can be launched from those VLS cells. The Type 055 destroyers have been installed with HQ-9B anti-aircraft missiles with a range of 200 kilometers, YJ-18A anti-ship missiles, a new type of medium-range anti-aircraft missile and land attack cruise missiles based on the YJ-18 family, practically the same as those already found on Type 052D destroyers. Reportedly, new anti-submarine rocket-assisted torpedo YU-8A has also been installed on the ship.
The main gun onboard is 130mm HPJ-38 and HPJ-11 CIWS with a fire rate of 10,000 rounds per minute. The class has a dual-band radar system. 4S-band Type 346B Dragon Eye active electronically scanned array panels are mounted on the superstructure, and four smaller X-band panels are mounted on the mast. The Type 346B panels are estimated to be 40% larger than the Type 052D Destroyer's 346A panels, for greater transmission power and sensitivity. Chinese sources claim the radar has anti-stealth capability and can be used to guide anti-satellite missiles. The deployment port exists for variable depth and towed array sonar. The Type 055 has a larger bow sonar than previous Chinese surface combatants. Various advanced electronic warfare support measures, countermeasures, electro-optic sensors and data links are mounted on the ship. PLA Navy is also working to install integrated electric propulsion on the upcoming versions of the destroyer along with installation of next-generation laser and electromagnetic weapons. The speed of Chinese advancement in military technology has worried the West. Few months back, China tested first hypersonic glide vehicle that circulated the globe before aimed towards target. Chinese Tiangong Space Station is also likely to be fully operational this year. The launch of Type 003 Fujian aircraft carrier, J-20 stealth fighter jets, J-16D electronic fighters, WZ-7 and 8 drones, unveiling of J-31 stealth fighter jet, launching of world's first-ever hypersonic anti-ship missile and next-generation Long March rockets are demonstration of the growing military power of China. Please like, share and subscribe.